Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number 24 of the My Player series here on Xbox One and a few of you have been asking me to change boots. So as you can see, I have put some new boots on. We now have the uh, the Adi Pure black and white ones. Black, red and... Oh jeez, black, white, red and silver, although I can't really see any silver on there anyway. But uh, we did have the white, black and gold ones. We've moved to these ones. They match our, uh, our home kit, I suppose. So there's a different change. There actually aren't that many available to, for me to change to so far. We need to unlock some more by getting some accomplishments, which, of course, will come in time. And a couple of you as well were asking me to uh, to show you the player stats, top goal score, etc. for the league, etc. So as you can see, currently, with, say, 13, 14 games left of the league season, we sit first joint level with Chris. Stagnal of Leighton Orient for top goal scorer with 19 apiece and assist wise it's uh, fifth for us with uh, Murphy obviously fellow teammate at Sheffield United above us with six we've got five currently sit fifth overall but only two off the top in that so that is basically keeping you up to date with those now we've got the uh, the kind of stats out of the way let's have a look and see we're going to play this episode of course we've got two games Notts County in the first one and then Crew away in the second of course a lot of games to be played in uh, in the month of March and then we'll be rounding the month the month out with the Johnson's Paint Trophy final at Wembley against Notts County so perhaps this first game is going to be a good marker for that so we'll see how we get on against Notts County let's jump into that game then see uh, kind of if we can pick up a result kind of give us a good you know a good indication of how Notts County are going to play against us in that cup final so a quick look at the league table before we uh, get into the game as you can see we still currently sit second in the league with a game in hand on Wolves three points clear of the teams below us at least so uh, hopefully if we can pick up a win here against Notts County then uh, we can extend our lead in that automatic promotion spot. There's only two go up automatically from League One, and then one playoff spot at the bottom of the league. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, that's a nice turn. Oh, well, the big Jeff's in. No, it's not. It's Billy Painter. Ball played over the top. We could be in. Go on, son. Give it a crack. Oh, side net. Never mind. Decent start. Opening two minutes. Having a chance. But uh, hopefully that can continue for the rest of the game. Nice ball in. We've got a man running. I'm trying to play a lot through ball. We'll find him. Maybe he knows Mr. Header. Although the chance isn't dead, Billy Painter, nice strike, good save by the goalkeeper. That's the second chance inside the opening 10 minutes or so. We'll have a corner and it's not quite coming our way, but we... Ooh, Maguire gets up well. Unfortunately, it goes wide, so we're doing all right so far. Ball's dropped through on the edge of the box. Scoogle's one done well to win it. I'm going to drive on the outside, I'm going to drill it across if I can. Oh, the ball's effectively. Scoogle, have a shot. Defender gets a foot in, and whoa, Notts County clear. It's been absolute domination from us in these opening stages. And one thing I must point out, how disgusting is Notts County's away kit, by the way? It's actually horrible. Purple and yellow, are you actually sure? Well, after a bright start, the, uh, the chances kind of died down a little bit towards the end of the first half, but we, uh, we know we can create chances, so we're going to go into the second half with that same mindset. If we can have the same electric start to the second as we did the first, then maybe we can pick up an early goal, and that might just be enough. It feels like a one-goal game, so if we can grab that goal early on, then uh, I'll be confident of coming out with three points, to be honest. Oh, that's a nice whip. It could get Davis on the end of it. Coming in with that. How have you missed? Coming in with the header at the back post. How has he missed that? You've, you've got to get that on target, surely. You're five yards out, boy. That should have been 1-0. That was the early chance we were talking about. That really should have been 1-0 to us. Nice ball from Davies out wide. Now can Brayford whip in across he can. I'm going to try and get there. Oh, we did get there. Got the first header on goal and on target as well. That's how you do it, Davies, you penis. It's a nice ball over the top. Collins brings it down. Not done well enough, though. Chance for County here. Oh feet on that guy just ridiculous he's going left and right hits the post go on Murphy he's done well there to win that tackle it's going to slot me in nicely now actually I'm going to try and play it back to Murphy I haven't been able to do so I saw him breaking it into the box I'll try and find him again I haven't been able to do it for a second time he's Murphy Chibangu nice ball through to Billy Painter who's onside gets the turn in can't quite get the shot away and the goalkeeper's down to smother it this really is a one goal game there's chances for both sides here we just need to get in front Nick the ball away. This could be the chance that we need. The chance that we need. And what do I do with it? I'm going to pull it back. Finish. Oh, he's just kicked it straight at the defender. Good tackle. Billy. Surely. Surely. Oh, two bites of the cherry. One, the defender blocks. The second one, the goalkeeper gets a good save in. Can we score the corner this time? Ball's coming. Oh, it's a poor corner. It's dropped free, but won't drop to a Sheffield United player. Here's Chibango. I'm going to call for it. 
And we're going to turn and give it a whack from distance, drawing another good save. Oh, the goalkeeper, come on, just go in the back of the net. I want this win. I want these three points. I want to get the psychological edge on Notts County for that cup final. It's coming our way. We've won the header down towards the bottom corner. Jumping goes up two, but the goal tally doesn't change. It's still nil-nil. Loose from Leacock. Loose from me as well, but thankfully it went straight to McGinn. Into us. Chibangu's made a run, but I'm not going to be able to find him just yet. Fight, cut back, and then play the ball. There he is, Chibangu. He's Billy. He's trying to find us. We'll go up, we'll win the header. But it's not really powerful enough or accurate enough to do anything. We stay at 0-0 in stoppage time. And the referee blows the final whistle. So we only get a point for this game against Notts County. You have to be honest, not good enough if we want to maintain our promotion push. We'll jump into the second game, which is away at Crewe. We definitely had enough chances in that game. We had four of our own, let alone however many we had as a team. 13 chances, six on target, no goals. Not good enough. Let's jump into the Crew game. That draw has let Coventry close the gap back to one point. We still do have that game in hand. But we, we cannot let another game slip like that. We need to make sure that we win as many games as we possibly can. Because Coventry aren't going to lose any steam. They're going to keep going for the rest of the season, you have to feel. They are definitely one of the strongest teams in the league. So we need to pick up a win here away at Crewe, although it's in the rain. So it isn't going to be, isn't going to be easy. Crewe are a decent side as well. But you have to say, maybe we'll have to draw it out a personal performance rather than a team performance just to make sure that we can pick up a win. Chance here in the early stages, but they're going to clear it. Nice tackle from Davies there. We could be away. I didn't really want to take that off him, to be completely honest, but the space has opened up on the far side for Big Jeff. He then gets tackled immediately. Oh, it's been such a frustrating first half. We could have a chance here. Goalkeeper's giving it away. It's just a tidy finish. 100 of 100 shots on target now. That's fantastic. Water. Oh, shot power's going up well. Going up one as well. That's probably the first chance you've seen from this half. It has been awful. The standard of football is really starting to go downhill in League One right now as the, the players and the teams get tired towards the end of the season with all of the football that everyone's been having to do. We're having to draw on uh, our last reserves right now because we're playing a game, you know, every other few days. And of course, as you saw earlier, the, uh, the fixture list in March is so busy. So uh, League One is definitely not where we want to be right now as a player. We're, uh, we're definitely too good for this league right now. We've been having a phenomenal season. I said phenomenal again. We've been having a great season. And um, if we, we just need to get out of this league now. We need the, uh, the start of the new season. We'll achieve what we can at Sheffield United here. Promotion is the main aim and or a, uh, a Johnson's Paint Trophy win. And then as soon as we're, uh, we're done with this season, it's back to Chelsea and hopefully either first team football there or a decent move for the second season. Jeff's got it, it's into us. Try and find Jeff again, which we haven't done, but we've still managed to find Davies, fortunately, on the far side, who squares it in. Up goes my man at the back post and it's headed clear and you would think that's going to be half time if they do get the ball clear, which they do, and it is half time. So, a slow start to this one, kind of polar opposite of uh, the start of the Notts County game, but crucially, we've managed to pick up that one goal, so hopefully we can hold on to that in the second half. Maybe even extend it if we possibly can, because goal difference could come into play towards the end of the season. We need to make sure that we have a healthy plus tally in that goals uh, in that goal difference column. Turn inside. I was going to give that a whack, but we'll play the 1-2 with Jeff. No, we won't because uh, he didn't want to play it to me, but still. Ball is in a dangerous area. Into us, we'll give that a crack. Oh, off the bar! So close to a second goal. Chance from nothing, really. Here's Braford into us again. Or oh, got the turn. I'm going to give it another whack. This time, the goalkeeper makes a good save. This is more like it, boys. This is more like it. Murphy, get that cross in. I said, get the cross in. He has done. I'm going to challenge the goalkeeper. Oh, we'll pick up a corner. Chances are coming thick and fast in this little spell. Chris Port has come on for Jefferson as well. Corner is coming our way. Can we win it? We can't, but it's going to drop to Chibang on the edge of the box. Comes to McGinn into Porter, who has been a decent goal scoring form when he's been on the pitch for Sheffield United in recent uh, times. Can he get a cross in? He's got space. Chibangu is just going to stand there, apparently. Back to Porter. Is anything going to come of this? No. <laughs> Oh, there's just not enough urgency from the from the computer players at times. 
We need to get tackling and soon. Chuck Saniki breaks in the box. The cross has come in. We're going to get the initial ball headed clear, but it's not clear enough. Here's Grant on the edge of the box. This literally is going to be the last move of the game. We're not going to have a chance offensively to make any difference now. Brayford, please, just, just, I'm hammering B, just get rid of it. There we go. The ball is cleared. We are going to take three points. It was a scrappy game. It's been a scrappy episode, to be completely honest, but we've ground out the victory. We, that's what we're doing right now. We're grinding out the results. Unfortunately, not able to come out with maximum points of the episode, but we did make the difference in this one, capitalising on the mistake from the goalkeeper to give us a 1-0 win. I'll we'll have a quick look, check back where we are in the table. 6.8 overall, 100% uh, accuracy rate, but unfortunately only one goal from the three shots that we had. Only four chances all game long. That basically shows you exactly what football is like right now in League One. Four chances for us, none for them. A lot of midfield play in the middle. But uh, let's have a look and see where we are in the table. We're still second in the league. and we extended the gap over Coventry? We have done. Coventry lost. And we still got that game in hand. That could be crucial. We're 10 points behind Wolves with 12 games to go, question mark. We've got 12 games. They've got 11 games. So we can still close the gap to seven maths if uh, we can pick up a win in that game in hand. So the title isn't gone just yet, but to be honest, the main aim now is automatic promotion. But that's going to bring this particular episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. There would have been an AC Milan career mode episode uploaded earlier on today, of course, and there was a... Uh, uh, World Cup sticker book collection episode uploaded last night as well. So feel free to check the channel page if you missed that. Subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss out on any content coming to you on this channel. And that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow with more AC Milan career mode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.